In this video, we're introducing Garmin's newest power meters, Vector2 and Vector2S. We're going to go through the contents of the box and familiarize you with what's inside. There's two models, Vector2, which is our dual sensing power meter, measures power in the left leg and the right leg independently, and Vector2S, which is our entry-level power meter, measures power in the left leg and doubles that to approximate total power. Both come in two sizes, a 12 to 15 millimeter size, which is our standard and used for most cranks, and a 15 to 18 millimeter, which is used for thicker cranks. This is our large and used for cranks such as the Specialized S-Works and some of the FSA models. The dimension we're referring to is thickness, 12 to 15 millimeter, thickness of the crank is standard, wider, or excuse me, thicker, 15 to 18 millimeters, that's our large. Both of those sizes fit cranks that are up to 44 millimeters in width. Let's go through the contents of the box. Starting with Vector 2, you have your two pedals. Both pedals permanently house the sensors inside the spindles. And you have two pedal pods. Vector 2 pedal pods have been entirely redesigned. They're designed to be installed after you install the pedals. There's an arm that clamps down and wraps around the shoulder of the spindle and we'll take you through that in the installation video. In your center console, you have some documentation. You have a thank you note from Garmin, a, a quick start manual, and a product safety guide. All of the documentation and much more is available on garmin.com slash vector owner. You have a 15 millimeter crow foot. This is to be used with your torque wrench an ant USB stick. This is used for updating the software in your vector pedals as updates become available. A 2.5 millimeter hex key. You use this to tighten down your pedal pods when you install them. And a set of washers. The washers are used if you need to uh, widen your stance width or widen your Q factor. Um, they can also be used on the right side to achieve more clearance between the pedal pod connector and your chain. And we'll go through that when we go through the installation video. And finally, a set of cleats. Vector ships with a set of red six degree float cleats, um, as well as the hardware. If you choose to use a fixed float cleat, that's a black cleat that's also available from Garmin. In addition, look KO cleats are fully compatible with Vector and you can use those if you choose to do so. Vector 2S is quite similar. Two pedals, but it's just the left pedal that has sensors inside the spindle. The right pedal, exact same pedal body, but has a solid spindle. You have a single pedal pod and then similar contents inside your console. So that covers our contents. In the next video, we're going to talk about the tools you'll need and how to achieve a proper installation with Vector.